Yeah, I was, I was, uh, counting it by the call number, like, how long we've been talking. Yeah, I wish Kong, like, in DKC Returns, I understand Kong is, makes you get 100%, but I wish that the puzzle, like, there's nine puzzle pieces per level, almost, yet yeah, they give you 3%, literally. That's how much nine things a level gives you. But I wish they did something with Kongs on this, besides give you lives, because I'm never in danger of lives. Like, ever. I don't think I've ever been in danger of lives in my life. At least in a DKC game. I yeah, everything you do gives you lives. Unless, I, unless I'm speedrunning, then I sh I'm always fine. With lives. Speedrunning, I tend not to go through life stuff, so I tend to fail a lot. Yeah, but if you're good enough not to die, it doesn't matter. Like, the first level of the game, I got a total of, uh, 17 lives on my left play, just by doing the first level. And I didn't get any of those this time, just for speed, and I, it saved me a lot of time. Here, let me try a glitch for fun. Oh gosh, I did it on camera! Why, when we're doing this, I'm just gonna let you catch up, and I'm just gonna stare at this. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. What did you do? <laughs> Um, I fell off a waterfall and the bees turned different colors. I can't believe it actually worked though. That's the scary part. I mean, like, when I played this game as a kid, there were like no glitches but one awesome glitch I discovered myself. And in this game, like, the glitches are actually popping out at me. It's not like I'm trying to find them, they're just there. But I guess it's sort of fun too, because you can have cool glitch videos. Get out of the water. It's so unrealistic. Snapshot is very less aggressive in this. Are you still? Are you still on that level, of Ellie? Yeah. Snapshot is very less aggressive. In the old game, his okay. mouth would get all big and you die if you uh, touch the water like almost whatsoever. Now I almost swam in almost across an entire gap because of how slow he is. Yeah, I did that in one of my videos, uh, one of the last videos, I'm like, let's tease the Nibla, and that's what they're called in this game. So, like, we were just swimming around, jumping out of the water, going back in, and they couldn't touch us. It's hilarious. Can't touch us. I hate that these Kremlins are just naked. Like, at least in the other games, they were pirate-themed or had some cool gear on. They're just naked now. The, they're called critters. What's up with that? So what's giving you so much trouble on that level? Nothing, it was the level before it that gave me trouble. The one with all the spiders. Oh, the tree one? Yeah. Yeah, they, they can do that too. Oh, there's gonna be one level where I'm gonna suck at so bad you'll catch up. You could be two worlds away, you'll catch what up. What level? How did a Kremlin's tail kill me? Kitty, you're such a- Oh, I'm a big muscular monkey. When I get a banana bird, I'm like flexing. You just got- You just did it again- I just came out of a midway barrel, and then a Kremlin like spawned in front of me and killed me. I'm like, Kitty, it's a naked Kremlin, and you ran into his butt, and you're crying. You don't deserve those muscles. Dixie, should you should have the muscles. You know, he's like, he's like, and you should barely be, like, a year old, and you're picking on the poor kid. Yeah, it'd be funny if Dixie was all muscular and Kitty was like a nerd with a computer who like did enemy bios and like could shoot missiles at people. <laughs> That'd be messed up though. Like here's this muscular chick with this crazy hair. It, it just, I can't even think about that, it's weird. Oh, recoils. I actually know the names of the, these enemies in this game. That's a good thing. Like in DKC2, I was so proud of myself. I knew all the names of the music and all the names of everything. Then I did DKC3 and just used the names of all of the DKC2 enemies. I'm just like, oh, that's a whatever, that's a back Kremlin. Even though they have new names. I mean, Crusha, Cruncha, that makes sense, but Crumple? Crumple, are you serious? Oh, yes, I love this level. The green waterfall is so beautiful. I could just chill out here and be like, awesome. Yeah. 
one thing about this game is that there's not a lot of blast barrels. Like, you know, like, Bramble Blast. It's just, like, randomly, there'll be one blast barrel, like, in the mill levels. Just completely out of random, there's a blast barrel there. Yeah. Just to add an extra gimmick in. Okay, collect 70 stars. A bit overkill, you think, sir? Problem, sir? This episode should just be quoting a bunch of other people's memes. That wouldn't be fun, though. Or would it be? I've made my own- Oh no, go back, you missed a star. Okay. What? That- that didn't happen. I can't believe this is happening. I just beat the bonus and fell off the edge right in front of the bone B coin. I can't believe that just happened. I honestly can't believe it. Wait, where was that bonus I was just in? I can't find it. Is it over here? I guess? I don't know. I hope I didn't- Oh, there's the bonus, okay. I died three times on an air- or whatever you call them now. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with him. With the what? The second world boss. It's your spider face. Oh, Eric. Here, here's a tip. Use Dixie. But when there's the point where he can actually hit your barrel, then put the barrel down by pressing down when you're holding the barrel. I know, but um, for some reason I keep hitting his legs. Oh, with the barrel, you mean? Yeah, that can happen. And then I end up getting hurt, which just kind of sucks. You get hurt by that. You're supposed to be able to bounce off. Oh, well, I the bottom parts of his legs. Barrel. That doesn't make sense. Oh gosh, that bee was too close. They should have had a reincarnation boss, like a uh, metal buzz buzz. Like, he was like half of the uh, King Zing Sting, half of the Bumblebee Rumble. And with like laser eyes, and it's like the ultimate bee battle instead of chaos. I think that would be funny. Here's this giant metal bee with lasers instead of chaos. Chaos was a letdown, honestly. Yeah. Like, he just has flames. I'm hoping to get on camera this glitch I found with Chaos that I did on the GBA version. It worked off screen, so I hope it works, because it just shows how pathetic the new leader of the Kremlin is. I mean, it doesn't even tell you that he's the leader. I think you have to read the construction book. Like, if you read the manual for this game, it'll be like, oh, he's the new leader, but if you play the game, it tells you nothing. Not even in the GBA version, because, like, the other games, they had, like, some cool cutscene explaining it. But in this game, it's just like, oh yeah, there's a robot, go beat it up. Stop global warming for that one Bramble guy. That Bramble guy's gonna commit suicide if we don't beat up Mechanos for him. I wish that Bramble guy gave us, like, a Bramble level, like a bonus Bramble level. I think that would have been awesome. I mean, they did so much with Brambles in that game, and then just, like, never be seen again. And, like, DKCR in this game. Ugh, oh, it's just something to think about. Yeah, to my knowledge, there's only one banana bird in, uh, the second world, right? Right? Yes, I'm pretty sure there's only one in every world. Well, there's... Not including, like, uh, side Oh, you're not, not including the... Just, like... Okay. I was about to say, because there's two in the first world, but then you said not including the side quests. So... I'm gonna be right back. I've gotta use the bathroom. Okay. So, don't you, like, hate it when, like, the barrels despawn when you're trying to kill coin? Yeah, I hate those. That... Like, you... I hate that. You should really play the GBA version, because they fix a lot of stuff in that version. There's only one glitch, but it's major. If you, like, jump on, uh, Chaos's head, you'll get stuck there. And then, like, if he loses his head after you beat him, you'll be staying up there. You're just sitting there, and Cranky's like, where are you, Whippersnapper? Well, he doesn't say that, but I'm sure he's thinking that. Where the hell did you go? Anyway... I'm on the hard level. Oh, well, I was- So I'll try to do my- I'm, I was just- I'm just doing a what? few, uh, extra things before I go to the next world. 
Yeah, I'm doing the fi fish one where he's eating fish and burping very So loudly. you're about a world ahead of me, but I'm getting some extra stuff. I have no manners. So. Okay. Okay, let's go to the easiest bonus of all time. Except for speedrunners. This is probably the worst bonus for speedrunners, definitely. Because there's bananas everywhere. And Kitty's gonna get fat off of all these green bananas. What is that in the background? It's like a giant coral something. How is it? Why on earth is the water like green in the background? No clue. That's sort of weird. It's like someone peed in the pool and it turned all weird. Fish, don't don't eat those bad. Don't eat those spiky ones. What are those called? Pokies. I swear this game has the weirdest name for enemies ever. I mean seriously, in the first game it made sense. Now it's Nibla. Um, it would make sense if those lurchins. That's what they're called. Lurchins. Lurchins or spines. Which one sounds better? I guess lurching some stuff water. If I mean critter instead of like a normal Kremlin, it's like where did they come up with this name? Well, I guess it's supposed to like re resemble a kitty game. Like why did they do that? Why are they trying to make it a tower? It's supposed to be the theme. Like just adding like yeah, but I don't like that to be the theme. If it's just like oh, if there's a tower in the game, well that's fine, but. It's about toddlers, that's stupid. Is K. Rool gonna be surrounded by a bunch of children that we're gonna have to fight off with a bunch of clay plastic swords? And if we feed them chocolate, they'll like explode. And if we give them broccoli, they die. Like that one boss on like, I think Mario 2 or something where you're feeding this giant guy who shoots bubbles at you. You're like feeding him cabbage and then he dies. I don't get that. Poor squawks. I these water. I mean, poor animal buddies in general carrying the yeah. freaking toddler. That must be heavy. Doesn't it seem like there's less usage of animal buddies in this game? Like last game was like the perfect amount. They actually use the animal buddies pretty often, but not too often. In this game, they're like everywhere, but you don't actually use them. Just like use them for a bonus and then they're done. Something so like that. Bad. And you never get to see squawks, because it's always that purple one now. Like, I don't like that purple one that much. Because it just adds to gimmicks. I mean, Ellie instead of Rambi, they made a bunch of gimmicks after her. Then the purple pelican. We should call that one purple squawks the purple pelican or something. Purple pelican. I wonder if they're both named squawks. Yeah. Well, that one... Yeah, it's supposed to be like a colored version of Squawks, called Quawks. It's like weird. Why can't we just have Squawks? Just so you can have a bunch of gimmicks? <laughs> but still, at least they don't go too overboard with the gimmicks. Yeah. I hate Stampede Sprint. It can go jump off a cliff. Yeah. I'm doing the Lost World as I get the bonus coins. It makes it uh, easier. I don't get why- In my opinion. You know how that's the first level of the um, world and the lost yeah, world? Ow. I don't get that because that's pretty much the hardest one. It is, especially with that one okay, bonus. Fi finally. Especially with the super. It's time for Gimmick World. No. Hey guys, what's up? Let's play Gimmick World. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. Hey, I'm actually doing it. No! I did it! How did I do that in one try? One try. What are you uh, doing? You know in Stampede Sprint how you have to uh, get the bird at the very end to get the third bonus barrel? You're already on I, that I'm level. doing Stampede Sprint first because I was gonna... Uh... Oh no! Oh, 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 I failed it! I freaking failed it! So that means I have to go to the entire level over again just so I can get the freaking bonus coin. So are you on the um, Lost World? I, I'm doing them one level at a time as I go. So I Yeah, but how'd you get to the Lost you World? Because if I remember 
on this game file at least, I couldn't open the Lost World until I had the jet ski boat. I couldn't use the hovercraft to get to it. You just have to circle it uh, in a counterclockwise counter formation. And eventually it'll... Uh, you... Yeah, I know, but... I did it! When I used the hovercraft thing, it like... It's too slow or something, because it wouldn't let me access it. Is it took... It did take. I don't know. It maybe. took me a few minutes, but I eventually did it. It's really. It's like you have to go in a continuous circle around it, and then it hit one of the rocks after doing a complete circle, or something like that. Yeah, but it's easier just to wait till you get like the upgraded boat than to waste your time. Well, I've already done now. it, so. Yeah, I guess. Well, I'm on the most gimmicky boss in the game while you're doing the one of the most gimmicky levels. So that's so really funny. Oh, I did it! I beat Squirt while talking. I didn't even. Yeah, I died while talking. I can't believe I, I was did talking that. and I totally killed Ellie because I wasn't paying attention. Or a freaking bird. I mean, Ellie. One thing about that um world thing, you know, is that the frame rate. If the frame rate slows down, it's so hard to see what's going on. You know, because it's all blocky. Shit! I, I lost the bird. I guess it's just me. You can't- I have- the only reason I'm replaying the level is to freaking get the bird to the end so I can try the bonus again. On my LP file, I did that too. So I had- It was messed up. I did that on my LP file, even though I never showed it. But yeah, I was just so embarrassed that I, I'm like, I can't show this. I can't believe it happened. I did it on my first try. I got the freaking bird to the end on my first try, but then I- like, immediately I failed the freaking bonus. That was just so yeah. terrible. What, sister? What do you want? Man, I love the music on Mechanos. Oh, what the heck? Glitch much? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, no Dixie. Sir, don't fall in the lava. She's having a lava bath. It's a nice, lovely massage. The elephant's name is Ellie. Jump in lava. Uh, if I can't get this in the next two That's K Rule's plan to get Dixie to. Dixie's gonna fall in love with some punky uh, Kremlin, and he's gonna be like, "Hey, wanna try this new spa treatment? It's called a lava bath." And then they go to Mechanos and he kills her. <laughs> I can see that happening. Harold's twisted. Considering it just happened. Considering it just happened, I guess he fell in some sort of melted magma. Yeah. I did. I uh, tried to jump on a rope, but I got hit by a fireball, so I phased right through the rope. And then I fell in a pit of lava, but I couldn't get up because it's like one of those segments where you're just using ropes above the lava. So I was pretty much screwed. Yay. That was a wimpy yay. It's a manly yay. Yay! Anyway. I don't get Mechanos. Cause like, oh, I thought you didn't jump there. Background. It's weird. There's a bunch of weird lights in the background for some reason. Oh, oh, good. Okay, I thought I messed up. I like Mechanos the most out of the factory world, just because it's like cool. The place is like red tinted. It's cool. It is cool. It's awesome. Okay, Squitter. Why, why are Squitter only in like factories? I like sort of get it. There's spiders in factories. Do you think K. Rule would be smart enough to figure out Squitter was like a spy or something and like kill him or something? Like, how would a spider get into this huge factory? Unless he was, like, born there. Man, these lava balls are... Lava balls. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, fireballs. They're, like, weird 3D. I don't know if I should, like, take the chance or wait. Because they're, like, 3D. Oh no! Great! Kitty's dead, so I can't get that bonus! Yay! Finally, I got back to the bonus area of Ellie in that Sampeed Sprint. That was took me forever to find do again. I'm probably gonna fail it again, too, so I'm gonna be quiet so I can concentrate. Yeah, you know what would be funny? If you took all that time doing that, and I do it my first try and get it perfect. I would've done it my first time and got it, try and got it perfect, but I freaking screwed up. By hitting the bird against Yeah, like, if I got... I think it's sort of a jerk move, how you have that really hard bonus at the end of all that. You finally get parried there, and that's like this ridiculously hard bonus with these. Ah, oh, I did it again! God dang it! You can 
could always try later. <sighs> you don't want to like just waste your time doing that. I freaking. Because uh, there's a chance I. Could... Yeah, I'm gonna come back later. Yeah, like if if I mess up on it, then you're good to go. But if I somehow get the bonus my first try, then you pretty much just waste all your time. So I pretty much just did two worlds in the time it took me to do that. I'm now on uh, the uh, cliff world after the snow world. Just kidding. If you're in the snow world, they'll be like, "Oh, it's kitty." Cool. I don't. Kitty, I kitty's fat bot. You know what's weird? I don't think this is true. But like Kitty's bigger, so when his hitbox be bigger, like if he could get hit easier, but it doesn't seem that way because Kitty and Dixie both get hit like at the exactly same spot, which I think is sort of cool, even though it's not very realistic. Now he rants about this game trying to be so realistic, so I guess that deprives my deprives deproves my theory. Yes, it totally deprives my theory. Okay, I'm switching off of Kitty now, because Kitty's failing me. I'm surprised Kitty hasn't died yet from all those freaking fireballs. Fire? Okay, fireballs, yes, that's great, fireballs. Oh my gosh, I think, I'm still on the first level of Mechanos. I, I, it just feels like I've been on here forever, and I should be a lot farther to fly now. I'm still on the first one. I don't know why there's a gate in the background that keeps us from falling off a cliff. Because it's in the background. It's not like we're gonna fall off the background. Not the background. Into the foreground. Okay, three, two. Dixie, don't fail me. Yes, Dixie, yes. Dixie, you are amazing. Bananas, yes. bananas. I gotta eat the bananas. Gold chain. What's with all these weird red lights in the backgrounds and the foregrounds of Mechanos? 